Thank you, Peter. Amazing. That's amazing. So let's start with the class, guys. What we're going to do first, we're going to start with a listening exercise, okay? So I'm going to show you my screen. Just give me a second. Okay, here we have it. Can you see my screen now? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. This listening exercise is called the cabin in the forest. Okay. Este ejercicio de escucha se llama la cabaña en el bosque. The cabin in the forest. Okay, perfect. So what we are going to do? First, as always, we are going to read it, okay, before listening to it. So I'm going to give you five minutes for reading this. And after you read it, we are going to read it together. And that's the time for you to ask me any question, any doubt you have about the test, okay? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Primero, ustedes lo van a leer solitos, ¿cierto? Como hemos estado manejando eh, las actividades. Entonces, yo les voy a dar cinco minutitos para que ustedes lo lean. Después de que lo lean, lo vamos a leer juntos. Y ahí es cuando me van a hacer las preguntas sobre vocabulario que tengan o sobre contenido en general. Y después de que tengamos todo claro, ¿cierto? Ahí sí yo voy a colocar el listening exercise. Tres veces, o si ustedes necesitan una vez más, bueno, lo pondré una vez más. Y luego sí, resolveremos el ejercicio, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Okay, teacher. So, let's do it. You have five minutes for reading this text. Entonces, tienen cinco minutos para que lean este texto. Go ahead.
Okay, guys, how are you doing? You almost finish? No, teacher. One moment. No, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, guys, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. What about you others? Okay. What about Miguel, Andres, Angela, Oscar? Yeah, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's do it. So now we're going to read it together, okay? And you're going to ask me everything that you don't understand, okay? So let's do it. It says, one fine day, not long ago, an old man walked in the forest. Do you know what is forest? Bosque. Bosque. Yeah. Bosque. Perfect. Just as it get dark, do you know what is get dark? Perfect. He found himself in an, in, in an unfamiliar part of the forest. Do you know what is an unfamiliar part? Una parte desconocida. desconocida. Exacto. Una parte desconocida. Perfect. And an unfamiliar part of the forest. He walked for hours, but he couldn't find his way home. Do you know what is way? It's via? Camino. Camino. Yes. Perfect. Eventually, do you know what is eventually? Finalmente. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eventualmente, finalmente, he arrived at a small old cabin. Do you know what is cabin? Cabaña. Perfect. 
he feel very tired, so he decide to stay there for the night. When he get closer, do you know what is closer? Acercarse. Uh-huh, perfect. To the cabin, he see that the door was open. Putting his head inside, do you know what is inside? Adentro. Adentro. Uh -huh. He could see that the little cabin be completely empty. Do you know what is empty? Perfect. But there was a bed that looked comfortable. Do you know what is comfortable? Comodo. Oh, see. And a fire burned in the fireplace. Do you know what is fireplace? The chimenea. Yes. The hunter fell onto the bed. Do you know what is hunter? Pasador. Yes. The hunter fell onto the bed and decided to sleep there for the night. When he lie on the bed, do you know what is lie on? Descansar. Sí, como recostarse, acostarse en la cama, okay? Half asleep, do you know what is half asleep? Medio dormido. Yes. He looked around and was surprised to see that the walls were covered with paintings. Do you know what is walls? This pared. Uh -huh. And paintings? Pintadas. Pinturas. En este caso pinturas. son como de, uh -huh, de pinturas de cuadros, okay? okay? And covered. Do you know what is covered? ¿Saben qué marcos? No, marcos es este, framed. Pero covered es cubierto, ¿ok? Entonces estaba sorprendido de que las, pade las paredes estuvieran cubiertas con cuadros, con pinturas, ¿ok? They seem to be family portraits, all framed and painted in incredible detail. Do you know what is detail? Detalle. Yes. They seem very realistic and were all extremely ugly. Do you know what is extremely ugly? Extremadamente feos. feos. Yes. They make him feel extremely uncomfortable. Do you know what is uncomfortable? Incomodo. Incomodo. Perfect. It seemed that they stare straight at him. Do you know what is a stare straight? Mirar fijamente, okay? Stare es ver, mirar, pero esa mirada que es muy potente, pues que es como mirar a alguien fijamente a los ojos. Y straight es fijamente, okay? Stare straight at him. So he turned on his side so that he faced the wall. Pull the blanket over his head. Do you know what is blanket? Manta. Manta. Yes. Over his head and go to sleep. When the hunter wake up in the morning the forest birds sing and the morning light come in through the in through the windows do you know what is through a través uh-huh perfect through the window then as he look at the cabin in the bright light do you know what is bright light uh -huh. He discovered something strange. Do you know what is strange? Uh -huh. Extraño o raro. There be no family portraits on the walls of the cabin, only windows. 
Okay, perfect. So now we are going to listen to the audio and I'm going to play it three times. But I said, if you need one more time, I will play it one more time. So go ahead. So I'm going, I'm going to play it in three, two, one, go. Welcome back to another listening exercise. Listen carefully to the following audio and fill the gaps. One fine day, not long ago, an old man was walking in the forest. Just as it was getting dark, he found himself in an unfamiliar part of the forest. He walked for hours, but he couldn't find his way home. Eventually, he arrived at a small old cabin. He felt very tired, so he decided to stay there for the night. When he got closer to the cabin, he saw that the door was open. Putting his head inside, he could see that the little cabin was completely empty. But there was a bed that looked comfortable and a fire was burning in the fireplace. The hunter fell onto the bed and decided to sleep there for the night. When he lied on the bed, half asleep, he looked around and was surprised to see that the walls were covered with paintings. They seemed to be family portraits, all framed and painted in incredible detail. They seemed very realistic and were all extremely ugly. They made him feel extremely uncomfortable. It seemed that they were staring straight at him. So he turned on his side so that he faced the wall, pulled the blanket over his head and went to sleep. When the hunter woke up in the morning, the forest birds were singing and the morning light came in through the windows. Then as he looked at the cabin in the bright light, he discovered something strange. There were no family portraits on the walls of the cabin, only windows. So this is the end of the listening exercise. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to play it the second time. Welcome back to another listening exercise. Listen carefully to the following audio and fill the gaps. One fine day, not long ago, an old man was walking in the forest. Just as it was getting dark, he found himself in an unfamiliar part of the forest. He walked for hours, but he couldn't find his way home. Eventually, he arrived at a small old cabin. He felt very tired, so he decided to stay there for the night. When he got closer to the cabin, he saw that the door was open. Putting his head inside, he could see that the little cabin was completely empty, but there was a bed that looked comfortable and a fire was burning in the fireplace. The hunter fell onto the bed and decided to sleep there for the night. When he lied on the bed, half asleep, he looked around and was surprised to see that the walls were covered with paintings. They seem to be family portraits, all framed and painted in incredible detail. They seem very realistic and were all extremely ugly. They made him feel extremely uncomfortable. It seemed that they were staring straight at him. So he turned on his side so that he faced the wall, pulled the blanket over his head and went to sleep. When the hunter woke up, in the morning, the forest birds were singing and the morning light came in through the windows. Then, as he looked at the cabin in the bright light, he discovered something strange. There were no family portraits on the walls of the cabin, only windows. So this is the end of the listening exercise. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to play it for the last time. Welcome back to another listening exercise. Listen carefully to the following audio and fill the gaps. One fine day, not long ago, an old man was walking in the forest. Just as it was getting dark, he found himself in an unfamiliar part of the forest. He walked for hours, but he couldn't find his way home. Eventually, he arrived at a small old cabin. 
he felt very tired, so he decided to stay there for the night. When he got closer to the cabin, he saw that the door was open. Putting his head inside, he could see that the little cabin was completely empty, but there was a bed that looked comfortable and a fire was burning in the fireplace. The hunter fell onto the bed and decided to sleep there for the night. When he lied on the bed, half asleep, he looked around and was surprised to see that the walls were covered with paintings. They seemed to be family portraits, all framed and painted in incredible detail. They seemed very realistic and were all extremely ugly. They made him feel extremely uncomfortable. It seemed that they were staring straight at him. So he turned on his side so that he faced the wall, pulled the blanket over his head and went to sleep. When the hunter woke up in the morning, the forest birds were singing and the morning light came in through the windows. Then as he looked at the cabin in the bright light, he discovered something strange. There were no family portraits on the walls of the cabin, only windows. So this is the end of the listening exercise. Okay, perfect. How was it, guys? Do you need one more time or that is enough? ¿Cómo les fue, chicos? ¿Está bien ahí o quieren escucharlo una vez más? Una vez más, teacher. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to play it one more time. Welcome back to another listening exercise. Listen carefully to the following audio and fill the gaps. One fine day, not long ago, an old man was walking in the forest. Just as it was getting dark, he found himself in an unfamiliar part of the forest. He worked for hours, but he couldn't find his way home. Eventually, he arrived at a small old cabin. He felt very tired, so he decided to stay there for the night. When he got closer to the cabin, he saw that the door was open. Putting his head inside, he could see that the little cabin was completely empty, but there was a bed that looked comfortable and a fire was burning in the fireplace. The hunter fell onto the bed and decided to sleep there for the night. When he lied on the bed, half asleep, he looked around and was surprised to see that the walls were covered with paintings. They seemed to be family portraits, all framed and painted in incredible detail. They seemed very realistic and were all extremely ugly. They made him feel extremely uncomfortable. It seemed that they were staring straight at him, so he turned on his side so that he faced the wall, pulled the blanket over his head, and went to sleep. When the hunter woke up in the morning, the forest birds were singing, and the morning light came in through the windows. Then, as he looked at the cabin in the bright light, he discovered something strange. There were no family portraits on the walls of the cabin, only windows. So this is the end of the listening exercise. Okay, perfect, guys. So you ready now? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, and what about the others? Kate and Andres. Okay, perfect. So let's do it. The first one, it says, one fine day, not long ago, an old man working. So was working. Okay. An old man was walking in the forest, just as it it is getting dark. It is or it was? Was. was. I was. Okay. Was getting dark. 
perfect. You found yourself in an unfamiliar part of the forest. He walking. Or walked. Walked. Wow, perfect. He walked for hours, but he couldn't find his way home. Eventually, he arrived. 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 He arrived at a small old cabin. He felt fell. Perfect. He felt very tired, so he decided. Perfect. Decided to stay there for the night. When he got what? What? Perfect. Uh, when he got closer, the cabin he saw. Perfect. He saw. He saw that the door was open. Putting his head inside, he could see that the little cabin was was completely empty but there was a bed that looked perfect looked comfortable and a fire warranty um, very good was burning and a fire was burning in the fireplace the hunter fell onto the bed and decided to sleep there for the night when he light lied on the bed half asleep he looked looked perfect around and was surprised to see that the walls were covered with paintings they seemed to be family portraits all framed and painted in incredible detail they seemed very realistic and were all extremely ugly May. they made perfect May. they made him feel extremely uncomfortable it seemed that they start start sure was a study seguro no se escucha no escucha como where 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 yo estar where is staring it seemed that they were staring straight at him so he turned on his side so that he so that he face face right so that he faced the wall and here hold pull the blanket over his head and when 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 went to sleep perfect when so here we are when the hunter woke up woke up perfect when the hunter woke up in the morning the forest birds yeah we're singing. We're singing, and the morning light came. Came perfect, and the morning light came in through the windows. Then, as he looked perfect. <laughs> looked at the cabin in the bright light he discovered perfect discovered something strange there where where there were sure escucharon where or was 
Where? Where? Okay. There were no family portraits on the walls of the cabin, only windows. So we are going to check, okay, to see if what you heard was the same that is here. So we're going to listen again, okay? Entonces lo vamos a volver a escuchar para chequear que todo esté bien. Welcome back to another listening exercise. Listen carefully to the following audio and fill the gaps. One fine day, not long ago, an old man was walking in the forest. Just as it was getting dark, he found himself in an unfamiliar part of the forest. He walked for hours, but he couldn't find his way home. Eventually, he arrived at a small old cabin. He felt very tired, so he decided to stay there for the night. When he got closer to the cabin, he saw that the door was open. Putting his head inside, he could see that the little cabin was completely empty. But there was a bed that looked comfortable and a fire was burning in the fireplace. The hunter fell onto the bed and decided to sleep there for the night. When he lied on the bed, half asleep, he looked around and was surprised to see that the walls were covered with paintings. They seemed to be family portraits, all framed and painted in incredible detail. They seemed very realistic and were all extremely ugly. They made him feel extremely uncomfortable. It seemed that they were staring straight at him. So he turned on his side so that he faced the wall, pulled the blanket over his head and went to sleep. When the hunter woke up, in the morning, the forest birds were singing, and the morning light came in through the windows. Then, as he looked at the cabin in the bright light, he discovered something strange. There were no family portraits on the walls of the cabin, only Perfect. windows. So this is the end of the listening exercise. Very good. So there were no family portraits on the walls of the cabin, only windows. Perfect. So do you have any doubt here, guys? Tienen alguna duda aquí, chicos? No. No? Okay, perfect. So let's continue with another activity. So, what we're going to do now? ¿Qué vamos a hacer, chicos? Ahora vamos a jugar, vamos a hacer una actividad súper divertida. Pero entonces, ¿en qué va a consistir esta actividad? Yo les voy a dar una especie de ecuación matemática. No va a ser difícil, don't worry. Solamente van a ser sumas y restas, ¿cierto? A veces combinadas, sumas con restas, o solo sumas, o solo restas. ¿Y qué pasa? El que me dé el resultado correcto, va a tener la oportunidad de escoger una pregunta de las que les voy a mostrar aquí, ya se les voy a mostrar, y se la puede hacer a un compañero, o sea, el que diga la respuesta correcta de la ecuación, escoge la pregunta y escoge a qué compañero se la quiere hacer, ¿ok? So, let's do it. These are the questions. Estas son las preguntas. ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla en este momento? Yes. Ok, perfecto. La voy a hacer un poquito más pequeña para que se puedan ver. Bueno, aquí están todas las preguntas. So, let's do it, guys. So, be careful. Entonces, tienen que estar muy cuidadosos, ¿cierto? Atentos a los números que voy a decir. Obviamente, los números van a estar en inglés y las sumas también. Entonces, a lo que tienen que estar atento, atentos es, cuando yo diga plus, plus, Quiere decir más, ¿ok? Plus. Y cuando yo diga minus, quiere decir menos, ¿ok? ¿Ok, chicos? ¿Got it? Ok. Perfect. So, let's start with this. So, here we have it. These are the numbers. So, five plus six minus two 
plus one. <laughs> okay. Forty. What number, Oscar? No. Fourteen. Ten. Ten. Yes, you got it. It's ten. So you can choose. You can choose from here or from here. ¿De dónde quieres las preguntas? ¿Arriba o abajo? Arriba, teacher. Ok, go ahead. What number? Uh, 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 four. Four, this one. Uh -huh. What were you doing this time two days ago? To whom? ¿Para quién? Uh, 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 for Catherine. Ok, so Catherine... What were you doing this time two days ago? Kate, are you there? Mm. This one is the question. What were you doing this time two days ago? Mm. No sé cómo contestarla. Es, es utilizando las preguntas. Todas estas preguntas están en pasado continuo. Entonces, para responder, debes utilizar pasado continuo. Entonces, si te preguntas, What were you doing this time two days ago? Tú respondes a what y lo que estabas haciendo, la actividad. El verbo sería en ING. ¿Ok? Si estabas, por ejemplo, si estabas trabajando, I was working. Okay. Ah, es ahora. Ah, ok. Es del pasado, del pasado. Ah, ok. Mm, ok. I, I'm, I'm working in my home. I was working at home. Ok. Estabas, okay. Estaba trabajando en casa. Perfect. Okay. So, very good. So, now, pay attention again to the numbers. So, here we have. Four plus seven minus eight. Three. Three, Caro, you rhyme Three. it. So go ahead, Caro. Which one do you want? One. One. What were you doing yesterday at 7 a.m.? To whom? Para quién? Oscar. Oscar. Ay, lo siento por la bulla. Voy a pausarme. I was walking in the park. Okay, perfect. I was walking in the park. Very good. So now, pay attention again to this. We have three plus three plus three minus eight. One. 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 Okay. One. <laughs> okay. Two. One. Wait. Okay. El primero que lo dijo fue Oscar. Y luego lo dijo Andrés, y luego lo dijo Ángela, y luego lo dijo Norquis, y luego lo dijo Kate. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Pues el primero fue Oscar, pero se lo voy a valer también a Andrés por ser el segundo. El resto nos quedamos para la próxima ronda. Entonces, ustedes dos van a tener la oportunidad de escoger, ¿cierto? La pregunta. So, go ahead, Oscar. Choose your question. Um. What were you reading last month? Okay, to whom? Para quién? Para Andrés. Okay, to Andrés. So, Andrés, what were you reading last month? Andrés? Ya voy, profe. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Mm, uh, eh, I read it eh, on the five. 
I was reading. On the party night. The party night? Yes. That's a book? Es un libro? Uh, yes, teacher. On the book. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. So now it's your turn, Andres to choose the question. Ahora puedes escoger tú la pregunta. So, what number? De abajo, teacher. Okay. Uh, la two. This one. Uh, so, uh, what were you eating yesterday at midnight? Para quién? Norkis. Okay. So, Norkis. What were you eating yesterday at midnight? Uh, I was eating rice okay. and meat. Yes, perfect. So you were eating rice and meat. Very good. So now, pay attention, guys. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Solo el primero y el segundo que diga la respuesta correcta, van a tener la oportunidad de hacer las preguntas. ¿Qué más? Si no les gustan las preguntas que tienen ahí, ustedes también pueden hacer preguntas que ustedes quieran, ¿OK? Solamente lo que les pido es que sean las preguntas utilizando pasado continuo, ¿OK? Pero ustedes las pueden crear. So, pay attention. Okay. We have here two plus seven plus one minus ten. Zero. Zero. Yes, yes. Zero. Zero. You got it, Andres and Kate. So both of you are the winners. So Andres, you first. Andres, you can choose the question or you can make one for your own. Um, the one. This one. What were you watching yesterday at 7 p.m.? For who? Para quién? Um, para Carolina. Ok. To Carolina. So, Carolina, what were you watching yesterday at 7 p.m.? Caro. La pregunta es que qué estaba viendo yo a las 7 p.m.? Yes. No wasn't watching TV. Okay, so you can say I wasn't or I was not watching TV. Perfect. Very good. So now, Catherine, that's your turn to choose the question. What the question do you want? Eight. Eight, this one. What were you drinking 10 years ago? For who? Angela. Okay, Angela. So, Angela, what were you drinking 10 years ago? I was dr drinking 10 year years ago um, water. Okay, you were drinking water 10 years ago. Perfect. So, now be careful, be careful, guys, with the numbers. We go again. So we have five plus nine minus four. How Ten. much is that? Ten. Ten. Yay. Ten. Very good. Ten. Kate and Oscar, you are the winners. So you can choose one question or, oh my gosh, or you can make one of your own. Okay. Entonces, pueden escoger una pregunta o pueden crear una de ustedes, como quieran. Kate, ¿quieres escoger o vas a hacer una de las tuyas? Escoger, teacher. Listo. Ok, go ahead. The four questions. This one. What were you doing before you went to bed yesterday? To whom? ¿Para quién? For the Andrés. For Andrés. So, Andres, what were you doing before you went to bed yesterday? 
¿Cómo haría la pregunta, profe? ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué? La pregunta sería, ¿qué estabas haciendo antes de que te fueras a dormir o a la cama ayer? Ya voy, profe, recuerdo. A ver. Ok. A Miguel casi no lo escucho. Miguel, Miguel, ¿estás ahí? Miguel. Okay, I, teacher, I was enjoying the passion of house. Okay, you were watching the passion of house. Yes. Okay, perfect. Passion of <laughs> Wow, okay, that's perfect. So now, Oscar, that's your turn to choose a question or to make one of your own. No, no, ok. Para Miguel Ángel. Ok, which one? Um, what, what were you doing on Monday night? Perfect, this one. So, Miguel, what were you doing on Monday night? I was cooking, teacher. Ok. So Miguel was cooking, perfect. So now be careful guys, be careful. I'm going to tell you the numbers. So we have 20 plus 20 plus 40 minus 60. How much is that? Uh, 18. Nope. 20 plus 20 oh, plus 64. Nope. Plus 40 plus 60. Yes, of course. We have 20 plus 20 plus 40 plus 60. Oh, no, no, no. It's not plus 60. It's minus, minus 60. Ya <laughs> 9 más, 9 más, menos. No, no, no. 20, teacher. Yes, 20, Angela, you're right. Dije 20 más 20 más 40 menos 60. Ok, 20, perfect. So, Angela, as you are the only one, so you can choose the question or you can make one of your own. What do you want? To choose? No, teacher, the, to, to question, oh. pero arriba, de arriba. Ok. Which one? Yes, uh, what were you doing before the class? Okay, perfect. To whom? Para quién? Para Andrés. Okay, Andrés. So, Andrés, what were you doing before this class? <laughs> Andrés? Okay, what were you doing before this class? ¿Qué estabas haciendo antes de esta clase? Voy. I was sleeping like a cow. Okay, perfect. You were sleeping. Like a cow. Like a cow? <laughs> ¿Como una vaca? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. So let's continue. Here we have, be careful, guys. So we have 2 plus 8 plus 10 plus 5. How much is that? 25. Yes, you're right, Angela, 25. So you can choose the question or make one of your own. What were you doing at, C at 7 a.m. this morning? This to Oscar. Oscar, what were you doing at 7 a.m. this morning?
I was um, I was drinking okay, coffee. Okay, perfect. So Oscar was drinking coffee at 7 a.m. this morning. Perfect. So be careful, guys. The next one we have. So we have six plus four minus three. Seven. Seven. Oh my gosh. Angela is on fire. So yes, Angela, you're right. So shoes, another question. What do you want? Yeah, teacher. Go ahead. Ed, what were you doing this time three months ago for Carolina? Okay, perfect. Caro, what were you doing this time three months ago? ¿Qué estabas haciendo a esta misma hora hace tres meses? I was in a virtual meeting. Okay. You were watching a virtual meeting, right? Perfect. Profe, so, y como diría, no lo recuerdo yes. porque de aquí a tres meses esta misma hora, como no podría decir, no, no me acuerdo. You can say, I don't remember. Or okay. I forgot. Puedes decir, no lo recuerdo o lo olvidé. I don't remember oh. or I forgot. Gracias. Perfect. So now, be careful. This is the last one. Esta es la última. So we have five minus three plus two how much is that it's four cuatro yes Ooh. so is and angela you're Ooh. right so you both can choose so Narkis, go ahead what question <laughs> What were you doing on Sunday? Okay. For who? Para quién? Uh, 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 Carolina. Okay. Caro, what were you doing on Sunday? ¿Qué estabas haciendo el domingo? I was working. Okay, perfect. Caro was working. So now, Angela, it's your time. Do you want to uh, choose a question? Or? Uh, were you were you drinking with uh, juice before the class for Andres? Ah, no, no, Miguel, que no le hemos hecho. Okay. So, Miguel, were you drinking juice before the class? Yes or no? Miguel? Hello. Miguel, are you there? Hello? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't or wasn't? I wasn't, pardon. Perfect. You weren't. Miguel wasn't. Perfect. Very good, guys. So this is the end. See you tomorrow. Teacher y la, teacher y 